Now let's show you the damage caused by some of those storms. Yeah, Chris showed you the tornadoes touching down people in their path. Well, they're already starting the cleanup. ABC 6 News reporter Rachel Mills is live tonight in Floyd County, Iowa. Rachel, what can you tell us? Ross and Laura, as you can see, things are just a little bit out of place in Floyd County today. Like this corn behind me is a little bit smushed down. And in other areas, it's been completely flattened. There were some trees knocked over. And the National Weather Service did come out to survey the area early this morning. And they actually said, surprisingly, this tornado did not cause as much damage as it could have. Basically, we found a tornado track that was about 11 miles long. Uh, the tornado was mostly EF0, which on the scale from 0 to 5 is the lowest end tornado. Dan Baumgart, a meteorologist with NWS, says that means the tornado was mostly traveling at speeds around 65 to 80 miles per hour. But 11 miles, you know, that's a pretty good stretch of territory that the tornado is traveling on, and it just gives you um, more uh, possibility at hurting someone or damaging buildings. Baumgart says the surveyors came out to look at damage and determine where exactly and how fast the tornado was traveling. So you're just really trying to build a picture on and recreate the story and figure out a wind speed that was associated with the tornado. He says it's like being a forensic meteorologist. Baumgart says while this tornado did not do much damage, it doesn't mean this area should let their guard down. We had a violent tornado in 1968 in Charles City, Iowa. So these tornadoes do occur. So you have to always stay vigilant and weather aware um, when you hear the threat for tornadoes is out there on a given day. And I spoke to the Floyd County Sheriff's Office who said that there were no injuries from last night's tornadoes or storms, no emergency type situations. Um, there was a house with some windows broken and a hog farm where the roof of one of their buildings was actually taken off. But that was about the extent of the damage here in Floyd County. And like Chris said, everyone at the fair had to take shelter last night, but nothing was damaged and the fair will be open Tuesday morning as usual. Now the National Weather Service says this is why it's important to take shelter in times of severe weather because though this tornado didn't cause much damage, you really never know. Back to you guys in studio.